All right, so let's take a quick look at um, converting math to Braille. Um, so I'm going to use a couple different tools in this case. Uh, I'm going to use Duxbury for my Braille translation. Um, I'm going to use math type to insert my math into a Microsoft Word document. And finally, I'm going to use a tool called Math Picks, which is really, really cool and will save us a lot of time, a lot of rewriting and recopying um, of math. So I have a, a PDF math assignment here. So a, you know we'll say for a transcriber or something like that, who needs to convert this to Braille for to either emboss out on a Braille embosser to the, send to a student. Maybe that you need to convert it to Braille to send somebody with a Braille note taker or a Braille display so they can read it that way. Um, this is a great way to convert your math. So what I've done here is I have a PDF file. We'll just assume I was given this PDF file by a teacher or something along those lines, and I need to get this Braille or this math somehow into uh, Nemeth math into Braille. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, I'm going to open up my document here, and I have my Word doc over here that I want to convert my math into, and I have my PDF over here on the right, um, which is where I'm getting my math from, or my worksheet, or my example worksheet in this case. So I'm going to open up my MathPix tool. So MathPix is really cool. Essentially, it's a SNP tool, but it OCRs math for you. So where this is really going to save you a lot of time is so you don't have to recreate or rewrite these math equations. Unfortunately, um, excuse me, Unfortunately, with um, using Duxbury or most Braille translators, you cannot just simply copy and paste right out of, out of a PDF and have it recognize it. Um, so you do would either have to recreate this math by retyping it inside MathType, or you can use again using this MathPix tool. It will do the kind of basically makes it so you can copy and paste. So what I'm going to do is I open up my MathPix. I uh, click on this little plus icon in the upper right, uh, upper left hand corner. And then it gives me just kind of like a little snipping tool kind of thing. So I come over here and I grab this equation that I want to snip out. There we go. There's one and it copies it in there for me. I could either do one at a time or I can just hit the plus button again here because I will do a second one. So I'm going to do example two as well. And there we go. If I hit this little back arrow, you can see there's my example one and example two. So I want to paste in my first one first. So I come grab this and I, there's a button that just literally says copied MS Word. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Then I come over here to my Word doc. And I've already kind of rewritten the text part of this math problem, but now I'm just going to paste it in. So I'm going to use Control V, the paste command. And it says, do you want to create a math type equation? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to take some moment here. And there we go. It pasted it in using math type. Now, why is it special um, that we did that? Is basically it allowed us to just snip this out, copy and paste right into Word, and then paste it in. So I'm going to go back, back to my math fix tool. Hit that little back arrow button. I'm going to grab my second equation here. Hit the copy button again because I want to copy that one now. And again, I'm just going to paste it. And it brings up this window and asks, how do you want to do it? And I want to say math type every time. So this is just a huge time saver here um, so that you don't have to, you know, recreate this. So if you didn't have math picks, what would you have to do? So I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to write example three as just to show you what how this would work without math picks. I would come up here to the math type tab, I would hit inline, and then I would have to go inside my math problem here, and I'd have to find the equation I want to recreate, so I'll just pretend I want to recreate this one again. So I'd have to come in here and I'd do, okay, I'm going to do a fraction, so I'm going to go find my fraction thing, I'm going to do 2 over 3, then I need um, times, so I'm going to hit X, I'll just do an X there times now four over five so we need another fraction thing four over five okay and that is going to be oops I didn't mean to hit that that's going to be equal to and now I need some big brackets or parentheses so I'm gonna say parentheses and then I'm gonna say um so we need another fraction thing we're gonna do two over three and then we're gonna say Oh, sorry, that's two times four over, over three times five, close parenthesis, equals another fraction thing, eight over 15. Okay, so there we go. Then I could go to File, Update Document, Update. There we go, and then close this window. And there we go. Put it in there for me. Okay. I think I even got the wrong kind of bracket there accidentally. 
But you see how long that took me to recreate or retype it in because unfortunately, again, with math, you can't really just copy and paste it. That's where the math picks tool comes in so handy is you can just use that like I did earlier, snip it out real quick, and then just paste it right into Word and boom, you're done. So what you do is you repeat this process. Um, you can copy and paste, you know, the, the standard text is a little easier to copy and paste. Some PDFs, not all, will allow you to copy and paste that. So I can just copy and paste that across. But it's the math specifically that we need to be put into Word with math type in order for Duxbury to honor it to then translate it to Braille. Okay, so we did a couple examples there. I'm just going to hit the save button on my math, on my, uh, math Word document here because now we're going to be able to import this into Duxbury. So I'm just going to close my documents I have open, close my math picks. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Duxbury. Just a moment here. And then I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to Open, and we're going to find that Math 101 doc. Hit Open again. And then here I'm going to want to choose English UEB with Nemeth because I do have math inside here. So make sure you have a Braille table with a, Braille, a math Braille code selected. And then it's going to say what kind of document are you importing? And I'm importing a uh, Word doc. Hit OK. And there we go. <coughs> Pardon me. Don't worry if uh, your math looks a little bit funny or funky um, inside, you know, with the just regular text. When you do translate it to actual Braille, it will come out and correct the Nemeth math. Some of these are just some spare extra symbols, which you might not recognize, but um, they, Duxbury has recognized it correctly, I promise. So now what we're going to do is press Control-T to translate to Braille. Oops, Control-T. And there we are. We now have our document converted to UEB and Nemeth math, yeah, just okay. like that. Okay, so from here, we could uh, emboss it to a Braille embosser. We could save it as a BRL file, maybe send it to a student, um, you know, who's going to read it with a Braille display or Braille note taker or something along those lines. Um, you know, the possibilities are kind of endless, but those are just a few tools to help you quickly get your math converted into Braille.